post-quarantine, mm -hmm. which was Get In My Basement number four, an invitational event in Ontario, All where right. he won only dropping one game, and that one game was to Poke Cheese's Me Gunner. Bro, this, this character is something else. We are getting ready to see on FD the flat stage for both characters. I kind of like this pick. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good for both of these guys because neither one of them really likes uh, platforms all that much. I think this is really going to come down to if Peanut can can use that super armor. And he's at least off to a fantastic start. 93%. What a call out right there. Looking for another F smash. Tries to catch the landing, but riddles. Well, that's that might be a dead Peanut. <laughs> almost, almost. Got caught swinging there and paid for it almost with his stock. Comes back up onto the stage and gets the side B. That's oh, going to be a... That, that is. He is out of here. Look how quickly that was, man. All he needed was side B into the grab, and you are gone. That character's... What? Uh, <laughs> gets the up B. Peanut trying to, to salvage Riddles, just absolutely deleting one of his stocks. Now coming back up onto the stage, regaining center stage control and getting the F tilt. Very fantastic, good fantastic use of it there. I think this match is really just going to come down to who's holding center stage. Right now it's Riddles. He's going to be trying to stop Peanut from coming back to the stage, jump. but he gets back. Unbelievable. Okay, but again, four star stage, 130%. This is looking super rough right now. He is almost out of resources. Gets Surprise. back on. That's that's the one thing about Peanut. Like you, you, every single situation that you'd expect Little Mac to just be dead in, like yeah. well, that one, he's dead there because Riddles gets a fantastic read on the roll getup. Good uh, patience right there. For Peanut sure. usually does manage to make it back from spots that you would think Max just dead in. Now, what I'm liking here is you've seen him use it a couple of times that up B to get out of these Kazuya combos. Oh! Except for right there, it could not save him. <laughs> Ew, that was disgusting. And Riddles <laughs> takes game number one with barely breaking a sweat. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was just, that. it was pretty even at the start as they were feeling each other out. But then I feel like Riddles just kind of started to run with it once he kept center stage, like you were mentioning there. Like there, there was just no getting in on him. And oh my God, that character just hits so hard. Like there were a few moments during that where Peanut was able to get control of the center stage. And that's when he was making good use of like the super armor on F smash, the F tilts. Right. And when he was keeping Riddles boxed out on the ledge, he was actually looking very good, able to get his combos and able to get his percent, especially at the very start of the game. Right. And then Riddles got in and just evaporated it, stocks within seconds of each other. It just ended. It, it just ended. <laughs> so here we are, game two. All right, we are going to Battlefield this time. I wonder if he thinks this, the platforms will give him a bit more leeway or be a bit more forgiving, give him better chances to get off the edge. He died at the end right there off a really bad roll read, so who knows? I mean, there's more room to run, and that's never a bad thing against a character like Kazuya. Absolutely uh, not. 72% off the bat as well. A good start from Peanut. Manages to get out of that grab. Tries to chase onto the platform, but he might eat a big old punish for that. Ooh, okay, he's safe. He's safe. Only 56%. We're still in, but he gets caught overextending right there. Good parry, but... Oh, manages to get back down. Now KO Punch active. He has the opportunity to turn this all around, but no riddle steals it away. Peanut with the follow-up up B, not going to kill. That but is that going to That is kill. going to take it. All right, and Peanut with a pretty nice lead right now. He just needs to not run in and get caught, but he's living, so he gets a second chance of life right here. What? Up, up B? out of shield? Hang like, on. It's grounded. <laughs> so <laughs> Sakurai, can we please talk? Please. <laughs> I know you're a little bit sad. What an option, but again, right here, Peanut using this, uh, these, these smash tech calls right here, especially with the armor, is just doing so much work for him. He catches the side, but he backed up spaced it quite perfectly right there. Peanut, as long as he's able to like have his feet underneath him, he's doing a great job. Gets the roll, get up, read with the uh, the F tilt, sends Riddles right back up off stage. But the thing is. He's like, it, it still feels like he's in danger even though he's only at 12% just because of the way that Riddles plays this character. Still right. trying to keep him held there. A little bit of spaghetti on the floor, both players okay. whipping a little bit. He's but fine. He just needs to calm, he needs to calm down and keep holding center like he was doing. He was doing a really great job not giving up stage presence right there when he was doing all that edge guarding. But it looks like that has kind of quickly, quickly slipping away from him. Peanut landing back on the ground, does not manage to use Go, or not Go, excuse me, I was thinking of Riddles as Terry. Does not <laughs> manage to use KO Punch, but does get the up out of shield of his own, and takes the stock lead back yet again. 97%, but like you said, you're never quite safe against this character, man. Kazuya is crazy. <gasps> okay. What was that hitbox? I, I have not a clue, man, but Kazuya is putting on, I mean, excuse me, Peanut's putting in a, a decent amount of extra credit right now. 
Tries to get the up tilt, but can't quite connect with it. And Riddle's spot dodges are just on point. Peanut trying to make it back, Drop, but now yeah, his jump's is, gone. He can't no make it. No way he's making it back from that. If he did still have his jump, he would have been able to come back to the stage, but Riddles did a fantastic job of getting the run up and then the steal. Uh, now we're just about even. Like There is 50% between the two of these guys, but it could be gone it, it, in an instant. I was gonna say, that, that number can change very quick. All Kazi needs is one, one way to get it right there. And good on uh, Peanut on being down to the ground right there so he can get that jab interruption. Tries to go for the up air to chase Peanut up onto the top platform, but Peanut staying safe. Riddles, though, remember what you said a second ago? That number changed very quickly. Now Super. only 3%. <laughs> oh my goodness, he gets stunned into the bathroom! He's living, though. Still alive, coming back to stage, gets the up B. KO punch on the board. This could be Peanut's opportunity to steal it away from Riddles. Comes back in, gets the down tilt, and chases oh, on the platform! Yes, sir, Peanut, getting a fantastic chase to take away game number two from Riddles. And this is a set, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. The, the patience right there to hold on to that KO punch, uh, to not run in and get knocked out of it. So, you know, he didn't get, he didn't get beat up in a tumble. And it, oh, my God, just the presence of mind to go, oh, he's landing on the platform. My KO punch reaches up there. All I got to do is just perfectly position myself when he lands. Bam, that's game. So well played from Peanut always aware of what options he has in every single situation. Riddles made the mistake of trying to be safe on platform, because I bet Riddles thought that if he went up on the platform, Peanut would probably try and chase with an up B, something along those lines, but he would be able to live it, come back down to stage and try and get something going. But instead, he loses the game for it. Exactly, and well, now he's gonna have that in the back of his mind, so Peanut has to be aware that that same trick might not work twice. Now going right back into it. I think we might, I think I saw them go Battlefield, so I think we might just be running it straight back. Running straight back, or it could be, I believe, PS2. Oh, it's PS2, okay. okay. They might have hovered Battlefield for a second, but yeah, so PS2, very, very even stage between the two of them. Peanut has the opportunity to go up onto the platform to try and escape a little bit, but I think this is pretty much in favor of Riddles still. Oh my goodness, the movement right now from Riddles is just throwing Peanut for a complete loop already, 88%. Oh, are you dead? He's dead. He's dead. Bye, Peanut. Uh, that's an unfortunate way to start game number three. He's not out. Absolutely not. No, I was going to say, this is still a little Mac, as you can see. Yeah, like, <laughs> if I've learned anything from watching Peanut offline, Peanut online, just Peanut in general, he's more than capable of making these big comebacks, but he needs an inroad to start this off. And this up tilt could do it. He chases Riddles onto the platform with a Mac aerial. You don't see that every day. Yeah, but I say definitely not. Oh my God, air dodging for his life right now to try and keep this KO punch alive. Fortunately, gonna lose it right there. Oh, but I think that was a misinput. It might have either been he was trying to go for a hard read on Riddles chasing him off stage, uh, or just uh, an yeah, unfortunate. He's definitely died before to uh, Riddles running out and like run off nearing him. So I think he was trying to get a read on that. But What's a read on that? Okay, yeah, I was about to say the uh, smash right there. Okay. Still, this is entirely doable. Gets the F tilt, tries to chase, but Riddles, I, the micro spacing here from Riddles has just been absolutely fantastic throughout the entire set. Oh. And Peanut's been in a little bit of a struggle, especially this final game, to get anything by him. Clanking there, Ooh. going for the KO punch, but no connection. So sad, because that definitely would have made this much, much easier for him. Oh my goodness. Oh, Riddles going very, very low to try and bait something out from Peanut. Follows up with the up air, side B, sends Riddles way off stage, but no chase quite yet. Gets the F tilt. Okay, good hit. But the rage is now a factor, so one up throw from Riddles could decide oh, the whole thing. And the weight! Wow, what a read on the air dodge upwards from Riddles, and we have a last stock situation. Okay, tagging on the platform. He's not quite dead yet, but the FB is going to take it. Oh my goodness, this character is disgusting. You know, <laughs> that's just the moment where you go, yeah, okay. I'm, Shake I'm my dead. hand, I'm, I'm dead. dead. Yeah, yeah that, that's it for me. Uh, but a fantastic set from both of them. Absolutely, like I said, that was super exciting. Just like I said in the beginning, I was really looking forward to that. The moment I heard that those two were playing, I was like, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. Uh, shout out to Peanut, though. He put up a really good fight, especially in that second game with that last, the read on that last stock. Man, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But Kazuya, man, what a character. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's, I, I'll be honest with you, that's the exact same thing that I saw it get in my basement for when Riddles just went in there and dominated with Kazuya as well. Um, and I think that might be what we're destined to see for a little while. It's good. You know, it, I, I'm okay with it. You know, shake things up, shake the mat up a little bit. This character came in. 
people are going to have to learn how to adjust. It's still a little early. You know, what's really going to be the make or break for this character is the longevity of it. You know, when people get a chance to start getting in sets and start having practice, you know, sets to study, sets against this character, uh, how good is it going to continue to be when people start to learn the ins and outs of how to approach Kazuya? Yeah, and I think actually tomorrow, chat, make sure you tune in for the comeback because Riddles will be here too. Absolutely. Alongside a lot of other top level talent like Mr. E, Tweak, um, Adam Isk. Like it's there's, stacked. There's, it's, it's really stacked. So if you want to see more Riddles as Kazuya, make sure you're here tomorrow. Absolutely. And up, up next, we have Kyle versus Puppe Puppe.